Hey everybody, it's Erin Reed from Erin Reed Makes and welcome to my massive unboxing. I've got a lot of things I'm going to talk about today, including some unboxing, some crafty supplies, a free art summit I'm going to talk about where I'm a presenter slash speaker, and also a fun giveaway. Welcome to my channel. Okay, so we're going to talk about the Color Summit first, which is a year in color. It's a free art summit that is going to be going on starting the, and let me put the, the graphic up so I do not forget. I have all these fun graphics. So just take a look. This is massive. It starts on the 23rd, which is a few days, and it ends on the 30th. This is absolutely free. It's a sampler of this. This is just a kind of a graphic that's a sampler of all of the amazing artists and classes and techniques and it's all about color. So every single session you go to is going to be an amazing new experience. We're going to get to learn how to do different techniques, different ideas, just different stuff. Um, there's watercolor, there's art journaling. So if you've ever just been kind of curious about how to maybe like kind of get your groove on with some art, there are some wonderful, wonderful presenters and it is absolutely free. So let me show you what I am doing, just as a little sneaky peek to my session. So we're doing some watercolor cards. So this is the two cards we're going to be doing together. And as part of being in the in the class, in the course, you are going to get a printable to get the two cards we make together, but also two more cards that you can print and you can watercolor. And I show you how to make them all. And it's yours to download for free for signing up for the summit. Um, I don't remember what day I'm specifically on, but every day when the, a course is launched, you have three days to watch the content before it gets closed up. Now, if you want to upgrade to the VIP, which means you can watch all of the classes indefinitely, and there's a round two of classes that's going to keep on going hence the year in color throughout the entire year. So every, I believe, week, there's a new session that is being launched if you choose to upgrade to the VIP, but you can totally come to the one that is starting in a couple of days through the end of September for free. And it's a ton of fun. So many amazing presenters, like I said. So let me just show you a couple of the other classes that you can take for free. And hello, everybody who's on. Hello, Sarah. Hello, Debbie. Hello, Wendy. And hello, Vin Valencia. I hope I said that right. <laughs> hello, hello. Okay, so let me show you guys some of the other wonderful classes. So Karen Tamir, and if you've never watched her channel, she is absolutely amazing. She is doing Finding Beauty in Every Color. You can see the project that she's going to be creating, and it's really pretty. Amber Fife is another one. I'm in love with these Mountain Vista watercolor Polaroids. I think they are absolutely amazing and perfect to turn into a card if cards are, which, you know, if you're on my channel, you probably like making cards too. We do a little bit of everything. So there's a couple of the other classes. Uh, we also have Judy Woods. Look at this color harmony. I love just like all these cool shapes and all these different colors. And then Rachel Kent Kentish. I think it's Kentish. Um, look at this really pretty mandala. I love this mushroom mandala. So these are all classes you get to take for free. This is just a sampling. Here's a couple more. Um, create your own chakra mandala from Stacey Manny. Look at that beautiful chakra. And then Nina Rycroft has picture book magic. And you can see some of the pro art projects that she is working with. Uh, so just a lot of really, really cool art that's coming your way. Here is, again, that big graphic that shows all the artists. It's a sampler of kind of what everything is going on. You can see all the amazing classes. This is like a teaser. I'm also totally in love. Of, if you look all the way on the left hand side of your screen, it looks like this tree out of blues. I don't know. I just I'm in love with that. So if this is something that you are interested in doing, a link is down below. It's a free art summit called A Year in Color. It's going to be amazing. So you can sign up. Links down below. That's the first thing we're going to talk about, along with a whole bunch of unboxing. It's not really an unboxing per se, but it's a cool event. So I had to, I had to mention that. Okay, we have so many more people on. Hello, Catherine. Oh, I love that name, Catherine. Of course, my daughter's name. We've got Big G Crafts. Hello. We've got Danielle and Joan and Cindy. Hey. <laughs> okay, so I have partnered up with uh, Scrapbook.com to release and they've been doing this for a little while but they wanted to kind of do another promotion on my channel so they sent over some fun products to talk about cards for kindness this is a really really cool program um, where they take cards and i'm just going to pull up the sharing button so you guys can see what this is all about and there's a link directly over to scrapbook.com if you want to see this so cards for kindness 
Let me share this screen. Here we go. This is a program from scrapbook.com where you're going to create handmade cards. And there's a video about this. And they've had a lot of really wonderful people that have been a part of this. Um, if you want to reach out about all the different guidelines and all the different inspiration and just like all the different stuff that's about it. But basically, the bottom line, here we go. Let me squeeze this into the other. The bottom line is if you love creating cards and you're not really sure what to do with them, you might have a big old stash of them and you're wanting to donate them, scrapbook.com has an outlet and they have reached out to a bunch of organizations across the country to help donate the cards to nursing homes, medical facilities. Um, it actually says all of the different ones. Let me flip over and see. So it talks about different where the cards are getting sent to. Of course, I'm on the other one. Um, I think it said somewhere in here where they're actually sending them off to. So here's all the partner organizations you can see right there. So if you're really looking for a place to send cards and just kind of having a ton of fun, this is a possible outlet. Uh, right now, this is what they're looking for right now. These are currently cards that they are in need. Um, winter theme cards, happy birthday cards, Valentine's Day cards, happy hello, and then thinking of you with a male twist to it. So if that is something you're wanting, these are the ones that they really have too many of right here. So, and I think they update this list quite often. I got to switch back to me. There we go. Here we go. So they update their list quite often um, about what, because obviously when it's past Valentine's Day, they're not going to be looking for Valentine's Day cards any longer. So, you know, the, the list is constantly changing. So the link I gave you down below for Cards for Kindness takes you directly to that spot. But they sent me this really cute card craft. Hi, Ken. Oh, we got Ken Oliver in the house. Hello, hello. And Art Junkie and Dee and Leanne. Hello. So this is just some of their smooth cardstock, and they've paired it with one of their pops of color. The one that we have here, this is Dusty Rose, and it's that mat it matches with, so beautifully with that. And these are some of the stamps that they have, and it says, thinking of you and birthday high, thanks, which you could totally go into the masculine realm with these. Um, the key things, then, and it, it's all written in the facts, is you're going to send batches of 10 cards. So... If you only have seven, make three more. If you want to buddy up with somebody, do that. Uh, but batches of 10, you click the submission form, you send them in, leave them blank on the inside because if a doctor or a nurse or a caregiver is going to hand that card, they're going to put their own handwritten note. They just need a stash of cards to grab. Let, let's say there's a little kid in the hospital and it's their birthday. They want to be able to grab a birthday card, or it could be for somebody in, you know, a senior citizen's home and it's their birthday or, you know, it's their anniversary or something along those lines. That's what they're grabbing or Valentine's Day cards. You know, that's probably why they want those because everybody who's in a hospital they may or may not have a loved one. It is something they can give to those people that may not have the ability to get a card given to them because maybe there's nobody left to, to come by see them or they're too far away to come see them. Who knows? So that was a lovely idea. And so scrapbook.com has all these partnered organizations that you can go get things. And they have some really cool sets like the one I just showed you with like the the pops of color, but you know, any card, any card is totally fine. You're more than welcome to join in and be part of that program. Um, thought that was Ken Oliver. <laughs> he snuck on here today. <laughs> okay. So those are a couple of big programs I wanted to kind of announce. So there's the year in color, which is a fabulous program. Um, and it's free, free art summit. And then the cards for kindness. Now let's get to the unboxing. Okay, this is a fun one I got. Now, a little while ago, hi, Karen. So a little while ago, Artbeat reached out to me and they said, hey, would you want to get some markers? And I was like, well, sure, I'll get some markers. And I had done a video about a new marker that I saw when I was in NAMTA Creativation. Let me switch back over again. Um, it, they're called the Ovo markers. And a lot of people commented about, and they're fabulous markers. And if you're really big into coloring and you're really big into like doing a lot of coloring, but they're expensive, they're fabulous markers and they're gonna last you a long, long, long time. But not everybody has gotten into the alcohol markers. Copics are quite expensive. They're actually um, on par with price for Copic, the Olo markers. But what if you're just wanting to get your foot in the door to color blending with alcohol markers, but you don't want to spend $400 for 80 markers? This is where, this is an alternative to everybody who was like, oh my God, those markers are crazy expensive. If you are really into 
coloring with those, they are fabulous. But if you're just dabbling your foot into them and you're not sure, or it's just another possible venue of creating, you can use these ones. So Artbeak has got these awesome markers. And here's the best part. Can anybody guess how much these, this is 80 markers. Look at the, all the colors. Can anybody guess? I'm going to leave it. I'm going to leave it until you guys see. There is a link to them. And you get them on Amazon, which is great. And I thought I had a sheet of paper and apparently I didn't. So I'm going to grab some paper real fast. We're just going to color swatch a tiny bit. This is the same paper that I make all my cards on. And it's a double barrel marker. Just, just guess how much you think these markers are. There is, this one is, so that's the fine tip. There's also a broad tip. So here's the broad tip. Beautiful colors. Um, they have the markers on here. So this is dark yellow, number 31. So if I was going to grab, because they're all in, all, here's 29. $30, 59, 30, 139, 100, oh gosh, 193. Oh, you guys are, everybody's too high so far. I will tell you, everybody is overpriced. <laughs> I love it. See, look, here's a little bit of a lighter color. So as you go lower in the number, you're going to go lower in color. So just to compare, just to see those ones to get that. Here you go. So these guys right now, $26 or $28. I think it's $28. And you can get them on Amazon. So if you're already a Prime member, they ship for free. And it comes super quick, super fast. I've used them for coloring for a few different projects and they color wonderfully. The only part I don't know, and it's hard to tell because I don't know how much ink is in the barrel. I have not sat there and like, like just colored and colored. So I do not know the length or how many cards you can make, but for 28 bucks, that's not too shabby. Um, you don't get a color. You don't get to pick and color your, your color choices. It's a set and that's it. They're, they're, but there's 80 of them. So if it is something that you are wanting to kind of dip your toe into, um, into the idea of ink blending with alcohol markers, you could definitely try these out because I think that's pretty cool. I mean, and look at the color ranges here. That is a huge color range for a pretty, pretty expensive price. $6. No, we're not quite $6. That's still... It's a little bit too low, <laughs> but 28, I feel like is really reasonable for 80 markers. I mean, that's less than 50 cents a marker. I mean, do the math on that one. All right, let me just do another color. So this one's 21. We did 31 and 29. Here's a 21, just to give you another range. We're getting into a little bit of a different color range. The downside, if you already have some markers from somebody else, a different company, um, the colors don't really like the numbers don't match up to a different brand. So you're really going to have to sit there and swatch your colors out. Here's the black because that's a color that most people like to use. It's a really good solid black. I feel like it's probably getting closer to a little bit of a really dark gray, but it's pretty darn good. I will have to say I'm, I'm thinking it's pretty awesome. Here is, I did, what did I was, I was using, I did the purples on a card. And that's, that's pretty darn, I'm loving it. Let me show you. Did I, do I still have the cards? I think I still have the cards right here. This is my stash of cards. This is like my most recent pile of cards I've made for projects and videos and I haven't put them away. And so I was gonna, I should have had this sitting out, but let me grab the one where I colored. Oh, here it is. So I colored, this is just like two weeks worth of cards for me. <laughs> I need to find a better way to organize all my stash of cards because this is getting pretty insane about me doing it. So I colored all of these guys um, with, so all of this, so everything within the cupcake I did with these markers and I color matched it with the paper. So this is, I did an orange, a purple, I'm pretty sure I had this one. I put them all back. So they were all kind of random, but I color swatched them the light green. So this is where I've actually used them. And so if you've ever really kind of tried them, you can. So somebody asked fine and chisel. So yeah, you get both the fine end. So you get the fine side and you get the chisel tip. You get a little bit of both. So you get the chisel tip both. So you get a broad one. You don't get the brush, which some people truly, you know, it's, I don't like the brushes sometimes. I do like the fine tip nib. I think that's great. But if, like I said, if you've ever wanted to try them, check it out. It's a pretty awesome price in my mind. You're going to spend more on some of the other products out there. So this is a really reasonable price for something that if you're already into 
stamping and you do other ways to color, like if you're using pencils or you're using watercolor markers or if you're watercoloring, this could be added into your arsenal and it's nice and portable. It comes in this cutie little, you know, pack, which I think is fun. <laughs> okay. Uh, so yeah, so maybe you can try alcohol markers. I think that would be good. Uh, okay, how many, trying to see who else is on. I haven't seen Ken. I think maybe we scared Ken away unless he's still on. He's just being really quiet. I don't know. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to show you another super sneak peek of some products that are coming out next month from Crafters Workshop. I got these. Uh, one of the reels already went live. I am so stoked about these products. They are awesome. Sorry, I got like a thing in my mouth. Um, does the chisel tip bend well? Oh, let me go back. I had like a hair in my mouth. That's just the most grossest thing. I'm reading a comment. Does the chisel tip blend well? I know nothing about alcohol markers, but I've been trying to figure out which ones to buy and try. Okay, so both ends of the markers work the same. It's just the size of the nib. So if you're coloring in a really big space, you can use the chisel tip versus the small nib. If you're doing a small space, you probably wanna use the tiny nib side. So it's all about just how much, which, which size you like to work with with the space you have. So when I was doing these little cupcakes, so I did the cupcakes, I used the little nib side. I would not use the chisel tip. When you're blending, and there are a ton, a ton, a ton of, whoops, I have no idea what happened there. There we go. There are a ton of videos out there about how to ink blend and the beginning of ink blending. And it doesn't matter what alcohol marker you have. You could use this brand. You can use Copics. You can use the Olos. You can use you know, whatever you happen to have. I mean, I've got... I've got a big old variety behind me that I use all the time. And I really, truly just grab whatever color is the best. I'm not picky and I'll mix colors and brands all the time. Um, so let me put this down. So if you are blending your colors, it's not that you're blending from one side of the marker to the other. You're blending two like colors. So for instance, and I can just show you guys real fast. The name of the brand is called Art Beak. Art Beak markers. Okay, so let's take these two because they're pretty close to color. You're not going to mix anything that's like green with like pink. You're going to mix colors that are similar in tone to give you a blended something. So if I'm going to come in and I'm going to take a lighter tone, but let's say I want to add a little bit of shading to that. That's a really dark. That's really dark. Let's try a different one. Here, what do I have? 29 to 31. And I grabbed, oh, I grabbed a 97. See, I grabbed, it looked like it was right, but look how totally dark those are. So I'm going to grab 29 and 31 because those are co closer in color story to the other ones. So we'll come back to the crafters workshop here thing in a minute. So see, so these are the two colors next to each other. That's still really far apart, but I wanted to kind of blend and add a little something. And you're gonna start blending the colors together. So see how they kind of blend? And if I'm just making them a little darker, maybe I just want a little shade here. You know, I'm, I'm coming in. So if you're like stamping on a character, you can come in and you can shade with it. And it's just blending the colors so it doesn't look so stark next to each other. So you're just kind of adding and you're shading the colors in. That is the point of alcohol markers. The alcohol blends them together. And so it allows you to do that. Um, this is the range of colors. And as you could tell, 31 to 29 was not like, they're still really far apart in colors, but this at least gives you a place to start from, right? All right, you got one for you and your friend. Christmas present, done. <laughs> I love that. I love how you're just like, done. And that's, it's a really good price. I mean, it truly is. It really is a really, really nice price. Okay. I still have that stupid hair that's somewhere on my face. <laughs> Whatever. It'll go somewhere. So Crafters Workshop has come out with these really cool. It's right there. It's right there. I got it. I got it. Okay. Crafters Workshop has come out with these really, really cool um, build a stencil. So it's all about building a scene. It's about building layers. And I did show you guys some of them from last unboxing I had. All right. So here we have these two. These ones are really pretty. And I wanted to show you, this was a reel I just put out. Um, I got the wrong idea that only brush tips could blend. Oh no, the whole marker can blend. Absolutely. It's just a matter of what brush, what nib size you want. So 
if you have any more specific questions, I'll come back to the markers and you can ask me and I'll see if I can remember if you put them at the end of the, the video chat so we can do it now. All right. So they came out with these really cool stencils where it's a stage one, two, three, and you can do them in any order. It doesn't have to be like this. You could do the green first and then you could do that. And then you come back with the berries at the end. So whatever order you want to do them, they launched these, they are available at scrapbook.com and it's all on one sheet. So this is the best part. So you've got your leaves, you've got, so this is this one. This is the poinsettia and it creates a card like this. So let me show you the card I created with that. Look at this one. Isn't that pretty? And so that way you don't have to like cover up portions of the stencil and have to worry about it blending. You can make a really crisp and clean image and it's because it's broken up. You do have to wait to, for it to dry between each layer, but it doesn't take that long. And you can do it with ink blending. You can do it with stencil butters. You can do it with, since Ken is on, we'll talk about his color sparks. You know, whatever you like to do with your stencils. This one here, as you can see, it creates that. I did this one and I put the foil on here. So I even did, and I made this into a reel that went live a couple of days ago. So for the little berries here and for the little centers of the poinsettia, I used the tacky when dry and put the foil on there. And they're just so pretty. They're just so fun. So a couple other of these stencils, and this is just a small smattering. These were released before and I did show you um, the stencils in a previous unboxing, but I didn't have the cards to show you. Here are the other ones that are coming very soon. All right, now some of these I have cards, but most of them I don't. So here is one where it's a celebrate. So let me see, we're gonna put this on a white background so we can see it better. And I'll hold it up, that's not gonna help. We need a darker background. Come on, Aaron, think, think, think. Let's do this. Aha, now we can see it. Okay, so you've got your hanging parts, you've got your lanterns, you've got your lights, and here's your hanging lanterns, you've got celebrate and shine on. So, and it even says the numbers on here, one, two, three, four. So it's really cool. That's one of the ones that's coming. That makes an A2 size card. This one right here, we've got, look at all the beautiful, look at this, isn't that cool? This is one that's really cool. So you've got the holly, you've got the branches for holly, and then you've got all the little um, holly berries on there. Super cute. This is one to make a, this is backwards. Only reason why I say it's backwards because it's got numbers. So this is one to make a city scene. So you've got all the windows of the buildings, part of the building, another part of the building, and then the outline of the building. And again, you can use it with color, with whatever you want to use with your stencils, you can use it for. Here is another one where you have a few different options. You've got the growing of the plant of the growing of the flowers. Here's the tops of the flowers. You have a background and these words right here fit inside of the flowers. So this is a flower that's growing that says sweetness on the inside. This is a flower that grows that says gather and so forth. And then you can put a big sentiment up at the top or you can choose not to use that or you can use these for future cards down the line. They are so fun. All right. Now, these ones I have already created. This is a build a scene. Look at this one. This one's really cool. This one I did purely with ink blending and the reel is coming with this one very soon. Ta-da. So this is this one, only ink blending. So I went stage by stage and you can do different colors for different portions of the ink blending, but this is this one. So this reel is coming soon so you guys can see how I made that. What paper do I use with these markers? I use my Nina White cardstock that you can get on Amazon. I have it linked on pretty much every single one of my card making videos. So if you ever see me posting the Nina White cardstock, it's a 110 pound cardstock. It's awesome. Here's another A2 size card size. You get the sunflowers. So you get the fence. You get the inside of the fence, outside of the fence. You get the sunflower tops, the middles, grass the centers, and then you get a, three different greetings that you can use with that. And so this one I did again, just with ink blending with my blending brushes. Video coming on that soon too, or real, I should say. This one is a really pretty, look at this one, this gorgeous feather. Oh, it's so pretty. This one I also turned into a card. And so you do the center, you do part of it. So the center I did in gold, and did the next part I did in teal and the last part I did in purple, but you can do with any different colors that you want. They're really fun. And then again, that's a reel coming soon later this month. So stay tuned for that or shorts or TikTok, however you want to, they're on all the platforms. This one I also did a video for and look at that one. 
this one's coming soon. Isn't that cool? So you get the inside of the flowers, which is right here. This one, I actually did it and then hand cut it. So I popped it up. So it's kind of cool. And then there's the outside, which I did in the gold. And then there's the tops, which I did back in that teal again. And then you get three different sentiments you can put in the center if you want to. So they're really, really fun. And it's like, it's everything's in the one, all you need, but you can also just use this part. You can also use the words over and over. So lots of really cool ways that you can use those stencils. So those are coming. That is a super sneak peek because they are not being released until next month, but you can get the, all the Crafters Workshop supplies at Crafters Workshop but also at scrapbook.com. So they have a really cool partnership between the two. And then you can add on whatever you need to at scrapbook.com because there is sky's the limit with all the supplies that they have. It's a really amazing company and they're awesome. Okay, <sighs> giveaway is coming in a minute. Stay tuned, stay tuned. <laughs> so I've been working with Zyron for a long time. I absolutely love them. And they sent me some new goodies to play with. I love it, I love it. Okay, so this is a really cool set that you can get. This is, I love this set. So this one is their click and store. This is a really, really cool, that's sorry, that's my light all getting crazy. This is a really cool storage system and it's in this really pretty mint color. It also comes in white, so you can get white or mint. So pretty. And it comes like this. This is actually the lid. It tells you how to snap, it all snaps together. And I actually store so many fun things inside of these. I'm gonna do a little, little sneaker peeker. This is me trying to get my camera. Look above me. All of my bins are up there. There's my other camera. But look at all those really pretty bins up there. There is different sizes, but this one is a set. Let me get myself really. So now I'm all wonky. That's what I get for moving my camera. It's a little behind the scenes back there. So straighten them out. There we go. Okay. Now we're good. Usually I do all that up, but I moved my camera. So you can get the click and there's a taller one, there's a shorter one, and there's also one that's 12 by 12. And I have them all up there and I have them all labeled because you can see there's a little tag. Whoops, when the light's not on it. It's a little tag where you can put your information. Um, it's just great. And if you look, like this store is really good. This is the refill for the Mega Runner. And I love, you guys ever see me use all my videos, I'm using all my Mega Runners. I love the mint, so look, it's a mint set. And if you guys have never played with the adhesive eraser, it is fabulous. Whenever I have little sticky bits left over on a card, that's how I get that up. If there's sticky things left over on a label, like on a jar, this is how I get that off. This little magic eraser removes adhesive and residue off of so many things. I've even taken like tote bags so I don't know if you guys have ever seen those tote bags that have like a label on it already from a brand like they've etched, they've like basically sublimated it on. You can erase that. <laughs> so for sublimation, you can also kind of clean up some of your sublimation oopsies um, or anything sticky or residue or anything like that. This little eraser is a lifesaver. Now, this little eraser, let me show you mine. Mine has been well loved. OK, I've had this guy for five years and is still going strong. If it starts getting kind of mucky on the edges, let me do it this way, then you just kind of peel off. But one of these little guys will last you for years. So this is not like something you have to replace. It lasts all like so, so long. This is one I've had for about six, seven years and it's doing great. You can see it's starting to kind of wear off on the nubs, but it's it's awesome. It's one of my favorite little tools that I have. And if it's not in your toolbox and you're always having problem with like sticky adhesive or you, you ran your tape runner too, and it works with not just Zyron adhesive, any adhesive. If you ran your tape runner too far and you have like a little sticky something on the end or, you know, like it just, it, you moved it and it was like stuck to whatever, it gets all that off. If you want to get the sticky off of the back of a sticker and turn it not into a sticker for whatever reason, does all that stuff. Okay. So uh like your hair what's different i chopped off about five inches <laughs> that's what's different about the hair and i got layers i got like really pretty layers. and i got my blue redone so i got i got i got some fun stuff i have a event in new york that i'm going to in october so it's going to be a really fun event and i get to go see broadway shows i'm turning it into like because my birthday is the end of september it's a pseudo birthday present slash work trip for an event that's the beginning of October, but I had to go get a new do for the, for my big trip. Cause why not? Right. And I'm going to New York. You got to be stylish in New York. At least that's how I think about it. All right. So there's also some other fun things. You guys have seen me use Iron adhesive in a lot of different ways. And one of the ones I like to use a lot, probably more behind the scenes than in front of the scenes, cause I just don't have the space for it. 
um, is the create a sticker. Now there's two different sizes of the create a sticker. These things are awesome. And like it says, it creates a sticker. This guy fits up to two and a half inches and this one fits up to five inches. Now, whenever you've seen me use the other one, which you, let me pull it out of my box. You guys have probably seen me use this one where you put the sticker, you pull it out, you get a top and a bottom. This one, when it rolls out, you don't have to rub, rub, rub to peel off the top. It's already done that for you. All you have to do is pull it off and stick it. I did a video with this recently, um, but the one I did with the Gina K and it had, let me grab the card because it's like right here. I think it's right here. Yeah, this card. So if you saw me do this reel, these little die cut pieces right here, these were all die cut from a pack. I ran them through the mini and then just peel them off and they're stickers. And so it makes placing all those little pieces so much easier. This is a little bit of a bigger, let me take it out of the box. This is a little bit of a bigger platform and a bigger kind of like blueprint or footprint on your desk, but there's a lot more in here and you can also get the refill cartridges for these as well. So if you tend to die cut out lots of little pieces, so if you're die cutting out, you know, like you're stamping, coloring, and then die cutting it out, you're, you're having lots of these little, little pieces. Okay. So this is the footprint, but it's not too bad, but the refills. So here's the refill that goes with that. This is the refill. I mean, there's a ton in here. Look at this. There's 10 feet or three meters worth of adhesive in here. That is a lot of adhesive. That's it. And then all you do, I think this is all prepped and ready. Yeah, here we go. Let me grab you one of the little doodads. Let me show you how easy this is. Because I still have her little die cut pieces. So these are the pieces I use on that card. And that's a, that's a little short video. So if you ever want to go down to my channel and you can look up all my little... On YouTube, they call them shorts. They're all on my Instagram too. On Instagram and YouTube, they call them reels. Okay, so this little guy right here, you just pop it in, right? You turn the dial and you can see it coming out the backside. There it is, right? And now either you can let this stay long and you just peel this off. And this thing is a sticker now. Look, at it. it's a sticker, right? It's awesome. And then these guys have been on for a little while, but they have a little room to groove. So let's say, let me just add a little something to this card because why not? And you just pop it in and then done. Ta-da! That's how hard that gets. So it turns everything into this really easy sticker. It's turn the dial. When you get close to the end, you know that it's time to refill it. All you have to do is just pop out the refill and pop a new one in. And that's as hard as that gets. So this little guy is two and a half inches. And then when you're ready to put it back together, just make sure you have the tape and you can also tear off. So if you want to take this to go, um, just make sure you lock it in place. So this is the smaller one, but then there's also the bigger one and the bigger one goes up to five inches, which means you can do like a whole card top through this if you wanted to, or if you had like a really big die cut system, um, like if you had a whole, I don't know, Sometimes they have those. Well, let me see if I have one right here. Ah, here we go. Let's say you had like a die like this and you're cutting it out with the paper and to get in there with the adhesive and all those little pieces and all those little places, it's kind of a pain to get the glue on there is kind of a pain because it seeps out and that's a lot of stripes that you have to try and glue. You can run that paper through and sticky side, whatever side you want to be sticky, you put that side down. Whatever side you don't want to be sticky, have that because this adhesive is going to stick to the bottom. You run it through, you peel it off, and you stick it down. Turns in everything into a sticker. And it doesn't have to be just paper. You can also run ribbon. I've done sequins. Lots of little things that you can, lightweight things, nothing too bulky. Um, all kinds of really cool stuff that you can use with card making. So I love my Xyron adhesive. And the Create a Sticker is awesome, awesome for card making. So those are my new doodads. Plus, I got some refills. So video is coming on those. They, they wanting, everybody's loving those reels and the short videos. So a lot of companies are like, we're going to send you stuff so you can make them and they're fun to make. I'm really kind of enjoying and having a blast. Do you guys like those short videos? Just out of curiosity. I mean, I still do my long form videos. I still love my lives. Um, but I like doing the little short reels. What's do you, do you guys like watching them? Here's another question. Just food for that. 
when I do the short videos slash reels slash TikToks, I usually just put music to the background, something fun that if it's a Christmas card, just Christmas theme music. If it's got flowers in it, it's got a song that has something, you know, upbeat, fun, happy, kind of goes with the theme of what's going on. Or would you rather me talk over it with a little bit of music in the background? Inquiring minds want to know. Would you write me like to kind of talk within the 30 seconds that the video is just a little sampling of what's happening, kind of what I'm doing, or you just want to watch it. I mean, you can always watch it without turning any music on, but not cu curious which way you would want to go on that. Cause I don't know. I've had people say both. Oh. You're my audience. I'd love to know. Okay. So what else? <gasps> this one's coming next week. I'm so excited. You like the talking. Okay. Good to know. Good to know. You like background music. It's a little bit of both talk and music. Um, love talking with you. <laughs> you love talking. I've dabbled into a couple that I've voiced over. That's the way of saying it. So I voiced over it. So maybe I'll do a few more. It's a little extra steps, but I think it's worth it. Cause then you really understand about what's happening in the short video. Okay. These are so cool. Crap. There goes the cards. <laughs> it's too much stuff on my desk. Cause there's so many cool things. We'll get to the, we'll get to the giveaway in a minute. I promise. Okay. Next week, I've started working with a company called Craft Express, and they do all things sublimation. And we are going to be making trick-or-treat bags. So I want to show you guys these really cool tote bags. Let's do them one at a time. So we're going to make trick-or-treat bags. My daughter already has, like, some fun ideas. This one is sequins. Look at this. Okay, i got to turn it this way because my hand doesn't go. Look at this. It's the reversible. It's that mermaid. I'm in love with this. She totally wants this one for her trick-or-treat bag. And so we are going to be sublimating an image on these. Does Amazon have Xyron? Yes, they do. Amazon has Xyron. Just put in, I did not put a link. All the links to the supplies I'm showing you are down below, or if it's a program, I've put that. I've put a link directly to Xyron, and I believe, I believe, the creative sticker, I believe, is 30% off right now. I forgot to mention that. I think, I think it's still on. It's 30% off. Both of them, both sizes. So get your creative sticker. <laughs> okay. So we're going to create trick or treat tote bags. So here is the tote and I am in love with this. So next Tuesday, the backside linen, it's really pretty. Next Tuesday, we are going to be creating these totes live together. This one's look at this one. It is like glittery. Oh, I love this one. The glittery. And then we have a beautiful linen bag. So my kids always love to go trick or treating and you know, those little the, you know, like they have those really cute pumpkins that you can get, but the, the the candy goes in there and they get really heavy and then the plastic thing falls out. So I feel like those are more for decoration. And my kids, especially walking around our neighborhood, or if you go to trunk or treats or whatever, they can get loaded up with candy real fast. So these are tote bags that you can cater to go with their costume that you can just put trick or treat. You can do like... I don't even know what my kids want to be for Halloween this year, but you don't even have to make it look super Halloween. -y. You could just be like, give me candy and then be all handy or just however you want to do that. But we're going to be having some fun creating and supplementing these tote bags. And some of them are going to have a hocus pocus theme because why not? You know, hocus pocus is a fun movie. And I think they're coming out with a new one. I think I've read something or it may have already come out that there's hocus pocus too. Oh, but next Tuesday live, we're going to be creating with these totes, they're going to be really fun. So I got to get some input from my kids of exactly what they want, or I just might make what I want to want to have, but we're going to do a variety of different things. Okay. So last, I want to show you guys a brand new book I just got in, and this is the giveaway I'm going to tell you about. All right. So this is a really fun giveaway. This is a book I've been working with a company called Quarto. Quarto is a manufacturer. They are a publishing company, not a manufacturer, they're a publishing company, and they have some absolutely amazing, amazing, amazing content. We'll get to that in a minute. All right. And this book is fabulous. It goes step by step. If you're a book person and you love to get ideas, because you can take it with you, you can pop it in your bag, you can read it in the car. You know, there's something about having a tangible book where you can look at the steps. It's all detailed out. And this one's all about step-by-step -step projects. This one goes into how to do certain techniques. This one talks about, you know, like how to replicate what you see. Okay, lots of really, really cool, fun ideas, how to harmonize color schemes. And this is all about florals. 
So the giveaway is going to be given by the company called Quarto Crates. This book is an amazing book and the link is down below. It's on Amazon. It's a wonderful price and it is fabulous. If watercoloring is something you're wanting to get into and you're just a little overwhelmed, this is a good one. They may, and you guys have seen some of the other books, which I threw on the ground because I was getting to the cards, but, but they've had some phenomenal. Then there's not just art books and creative books. They publish all kinds of books. So you can definitely take a look at that. Okay, this is the giveaway. So if you're going to watercolor, you need to have watercolors. So they sent me as a tidbit and they said that I would give them five away. If you're interested in trying a set of watercolors that are a little bit of a notch up, kind of like a step up in your level of watercolors, not the cheapy kids watercolors. I'm not used to the hair yet. It's kind of like in my face. Um, you're wanting to kind of branch out and get something a little bit nicer. They are giving away five free color swatches, um, not the book, but you're going to get the color swatch. So you get this beautiful color swatch and it's from uh, Windsor Newton. Windsor Newton is a beautiful set. They, they make paints, they make brushes. They have wonderful, wonderful brushes. So you get these dots. It comes in a baggie, but it's, you know, it came to me like this. And then you can either take the dot and place it into your, um, or you can just get this wet, or you can remove the dot and put it somewhere else. But I have five of these little water dots to give you. And the colors you're going to get are Windsor Lemon, Windsor Yellow, French Ultramarine, Windsor Blue, it's a greenish shade, uh, Permanent Rose, Scarlet Lake, Payne's Gray, Raw Umber, and Burnt Sienna. So these are a beautiful set of watercolors that you can play with and that you can help create and make some beautiful stuff. So if you already have a watercolor book or you can obviously watch YouTube videos, but you want to get us one of these and look, kind of goes with the color, right? So this is the dots that you could use with this book. Um, but I have five to give away. There's a link down below and I'm asking for all the information because I am not going to do a live video to announce the winner. I will post the winners next week. I believe I have all the information written in there, but there's a Google link where you're filling in your information. Um, open worldwide. Um, I keep saying, um, I'm so sorry. So put your information in. I will then email. There's five winners. I will email the five winners that you have won. I need you a couple of days for you to get back to me. So that way I know that it was a valid email address. And then I will send them off to the company and you get your little dots. Now, in order for to increase your chances of winning, I have my YouTube membership. And there are three different levels of my YouTube membership. There is the teal, there is the silver, and there is the glitter. Um, each membership level has different fun things that you get with it, or, you know, monthly you get something or twice a week or, you know, just little fun things. And so if you are a member of any of those levels, the higher the levels, it's more names in the hat that win. So increases your chance of winning if you are a member. It's kind of like the Patreon if you ever watch anybody else, but YouTube has their own version. So um, do they make other swatch colors? Not that I'm aware. I think they made this particular swatch to go with, I mean, because it's on the book. So they picked colors that were used in the book. Therefore, you could mimic what was in the book. So that was what they sent to me. And that's what they played with. And I'm going to play with it here shortly. It's kind of fun. Um, I'm not sure. But there's a lot of, I mean, you might look color swatch colors or get yourself a color palette. I mean, there's lots of them. But I think this one was specifically made to go with the book. And so uh, Windsor Newton and Quarto combined forces to create one. So that's what you're getting if you win. Woohoo! I <laughs> uh, would love to try the watercolors. They're fun, aren't they? Okay. Thank you guys. We're liking my haircut. I decided to go really short and I got layers and usually I don't have like, it's not really bangs, but it's kind of bangs. I got to get used to this. I'm not, I'm not quite there. I'm loving the shortness of it though. Cause I never wear my hair. I mean, I wear my hair down while I'm on video, but if you ever saw me with my hair up, it was because I just was not doing it today. But normally my hair is up, but when it's shorter, I wear it down more because it's not so hot in the back of the neck. I don't know. Anyway, something fun, something different. So thank you guys. Oh, I just want to read, because I think there was a few people who weren't on at the very beginning. I just wanted to remind you, there is a free art summit. So here's, this is kind of cool. So if you win this, which it should be going out pretty soon. It may not be in time for that color summit, but let's say you watch this. It's a free art summit. Let me pull up the thing again. 
Here we go. This is the Free Art Summit. It starts on the 23rd and goes to the end of the 30th of September. There are a lot of watercolor classes, including mine. Um, mine is all about watercolor as well. But there's a lot of watercolor in this. So if you win this little kit, then, you know, or if you watch the video and you're like, ah, oh, I really love that, and you win this, then you can kind of combine them. I love it when things kind of like gel together like that. So link to the free summit is down below. Amazing number of speakers and wonderful, wonderful techniques that you're going to learn, again, including watercolor um, that you can play with. And then all the supplies that I've talked about or links to the company are going to be down below. The only thing you can't get right now are those brand new stencils from Crafters Workshop because they will be available in October. The beginning of October, they will be released. So stay tuned for that. And thank you guys so much for being on. Oh, you love the blue streaks. Thank you. I appreciate that. Yeah, I've had blue streaks in my hair for five years. Just they start fading and they get kind of like a, to a teal color, but I always start out like really, really blue. So thanks. I love blue. Blue is like one of my favorite colors. That and green. I, but green looks bad in hair. So I always go with blue. All right. If you have any questions, please let me know. Leave a comment down in the information section. Please don't forget to thumbs up and like and hearts and all that fun stuff. And if you want to you're on Facebook and you want to send stars as a thank you for watching the videos, that would be totally awesome. You want to come a member, link is down below. And if you want to join my newsletter, I send out lots of information and freebies and some things that doesn't quite make it into these videos or, you know, sometimes, you know, there's just other fun content that comes into my newsletter. So love to have you there. Thank you guys so much. Have an amazing, amazing day. We're actually going to go, my daughter, this is just a little side note for those that are still on. Thanks for hanging in there for everybody who's still here. Um, my daughter for her birthday, because she just had her birthday, she got money for her birthday. She's like, mom, I want streaks. So she's getting purple streaks in her hair today. So we're going to go to the hair salon who does my hair. And uh, that's what she wants to get for her birthday is purple. <laughs> so we're going to go see what she looks like with purple. She's so excited. <laughs> I guess like mother, like daughter, right? <laughs> All right. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. And thank you guys for joining me. And don't forget, live card making Wednesday tomorrow at 1 p.m. Central. Bye, everybody.